So we're going to look at some more GCSE recap in this session and we're going to look at four different types of angles, vertically opposite, alternate, corresponding and allied angles. Now at GCSE you had to learn uh, these by name. You don't need to know these by name okay, at A level, but you do need to know their properties. Okay, so you need to kind of know the rules of how this geometry works in order to solve uh, some bearings problems that might come up. Okay, so vertically opposite angles, that was the name given to the angles that are made when two lines intersect. So here are two lines. These two angles here would be known as vertically opposite. And this angle and this angle would also be known as vertically opposite. So if this angle is uh, 100 degrees, then that angle is 100 degrees. Okay? And that's how they work. Alternate angles, corresponding and allied angles, all work between two parallel lines. So if we draw two parallel lines here, and then we cross them with another line. Okay, so here are my parallel lines, and then I have this this other line running across them. The alternate angles are these. Okay, so they are referred to as alternate angles, and they are equal to one another. So if this is 60 degrees, then that is 60 degrees. Likewise, this angle will be the same as that angle. And so they are also known as alternate angles. They are on alternate, alternating sides, effectively. Corresponding angles, we've got a very similar picture. OK, so two parallel lines, roughly. Draw ourselves another line crossing through. OK, now corresponding angles, this angle corresponds to this one. OK, so these two angles are of the same size. Likewise, this angle corresponds with that one. And this one corresponds to this one. And this one corresponds to this one. OK, so corresponding angles are equal. So you might have refer heard this being referred to an F angle. So you've kind of got this F shape. And likewise, this was a Z angle. OK, you might remember it that way. Now, allied angle seems to be, tends to be one that is often forgotten and may or may not have been taught to you as allied angles. But they were a very useful uh, thing to remember. So allied angles, allied makes sense that they're on the same side, okay? They're both between the uh, parallel lines, they're, and they're on the same side. And these add to make 180 degrees. So when you add those two angles together, you will get 180. And likewise, these two angles here would also be referred to as allied. Now, when you're dealing with bearings questions, when you've got two north lines that are parallel, these uh, facts and these uh, properties, rather, are really, really useful to remember. And we're going to see that in the next few videos.